Good evening, gamers. Welcome to Capping TV's coverage of the upper bracket semis of uh, the Asia Fortress. I believe it's what, like 16 now? I have 15, no idea. 15. 15. Yes. Professionalism on show, everybody. <laughs> My name is Sassy, and with me and tonight I... I have Houdini. Hello. And uh, we're going to watch some, some Age of Fort gaming at the highest of levels. So, why don't we introduce these two teams first? So, on the red team, we have none other than the all-Korean team going by the name of Potato Photo. And on blue team, we have our the, fr the players we, that we all know, we all know and love, Swift Gaming. So, let's start by talking about who's on the team. So, on Swift Asia, we have none other than HSR and Medic, Itachi, I believe, on Demo, Smiley on Roamer, Banana and Pocket, Fuishi on Scout, and TJ on Scout. On the side of Potato Photo, we have Larky on Scout, Strelka on Scout, Daylight, I believe, on Pocket, Shocky on Roamer, Tibet on Demo, and none other than Ayas on Medic? Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. <laughs> I believe. I haven't got a clue, man. <laughs> Me neither, man. <laughs> Koreans, bro. I uh, I can't say I have any predictions to this because I it's been a while since I paid attention to Asia Four properly. If I were to give my predictions, in all honesty, regarding this match, I believe it would be really close. In mm. one of the matches in Xiao, it, I believe it was Xiao versus Potato Four. Potato Photo took a map, a convincing win, 4-1 against Xiao. But, and Xiao steamrolled Swift Asia. So, yeah. if Swift are to beat Potato Photo, then they should have the same amount of regression that Xiao has. But the thing is, since they lost, I have no idea who's going to win because this is really up for debate who's going to win. I mean, the only way to find out is by watching them play. For sure. Indeed. I so, uh, I thought I watched a game of Xiao versus Swift, Swift just the other day. Did they lose that? Yeah, they lost. Oh, um, the match Xiao page won is difficult six to, to two. read. <laughs> Xiao won 6 to 2 on Snakewater and 5 to 1 on Process, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's about right, yeah. Okay. I don't know, okay, it'd be well, interesting either there. way, because this is like, there's a bunch of names that I remember from, uh, like, playing in Asia Fort previously. So, Asia Fortress. Uh, oh, that's uh, kind of yeah. interesting. We've got I've three noticed... maps coming at them as well, yes. which is good. Well, let's just hope that everything will go to a map three, because that's what us casters want to see. <laughs> intense games, intense action, and intense yeah. stalemates. So we Am get I to right, see Snazzy? <laughs> absolutely. We get to see process reckoner and then Gullywash as a decider. I'm not a huge fan of the map Gullywash, which I know will get me murdered. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm happy to not see Gully. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, if you don't like Gully, I despise Reckoner with a burning passion. I don't like Reckoner. <laughs> <laughs> see, why is Reckoner in the map pool if nobody likes oh, it? Oh look, it's. It's refreshing to play something so awful because it makes everything else feel good, right? <laughs> no, it's not refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing. It's tilting, dude. It's good for the body it's and the, the soul. It brings no, you back it's up. Not. It's a bad. <laughs> no, it's good. Enough. It's actually an alright map. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like playing it. Everything's it's the same wrong as Gully. <laughs> no, everything's wrong with Reckoner, dude. It's not that bad. No. Okay, bro. Okay, okay, man. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We, I guess you should say don't agree have, to like, disagree. I, ju yes. I just don't want to continuously poo on a map because <laughs> we're going to end up with like the map making community chasing us down in our homes. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna be hunted down. And I don't want that. <laughs> I'm quite happy in my home at the moment. In before Snazzy gets sued. <laughs> mm, no. I will not. It'd be, it'd be less than fun, I think. 
to start like proper beef over maps. I don't care. None of them are fun. Like, hold up. I'm just give me a minute. I'm just advertising to all my real life friends about this live cast. Oh, of really? the best Asia Fortress season ever. Cool. Indeed. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just, uh, it's still all I guess we're so just waiting. Looks like they're just DMing. Yeah. We just gotta hang around. Fushi asked, Fushi asked me, are we okay to ready? I said, yes, sir. Looks like they're about to start in a few seconds. Uh, meanwhile, we're God. just gonna watch them DMing. I'm gonna get myself a bottle of water. I want to stay hydrated. I'll be right back. Go ahead. So while waiting, looks like we're just waiting for the STV to start since it's 90 seconds delayed. Oh, oh we're, we gotta watch this intense game between Swift and Potato Photo. Please, cast. Please, chat. Put in your predictions. Who do you think's gonna win? You have the correct score. I'm gonna give you a key. That's right, you heard it first. I'm gonna give you a key. So we're just waiting still. Don't watching go the key and everybody bets. else. You can't follow through on there. Bro, I, I said I'm gonna give them a key. If they get the predictions right. <laughs> I honestly think, speaking about the best players in each team, I honestly believe that. TJ is the one that really makes Swift do what they do. Oh wait, we're about to start in one second. Oh shoot. Looks like... It's gotta do its classic Asia for reset the game <laughs> four times in a row thing though. <laughs> so I'm going to be watching Tibet do his rollout. Looks like he's gonna... I t I told oh, never you. mind, it's pre-game. <laughs> I told you! <laughs> oh my god. It has to reset it like four times. <laughs> Okay, one more time, please. It's one more time, right? Yes. I think so. I think this is the right one. <laughs> I Get on that rollout, yes. Cam. Looks like we're going to be watching Tibet in the rollout. Looks like he's really fast, but he beeps so much he doesn't make the ramp slide. Yeah, I think he's just focusing on... It. He's early. He's early. He's early. Uh... Mr. What's Itachi. His... Yeah. Looks like Swift uh. are just stuck in their choke. Looks like... It looks like the config might be wrong according to the, oh my the chat in the server, so they're gonna oh have to restart. No. <laughs> Big brain gamers right here. Dude. The Asian board just did one playoffs. <laughs> I mean, I can't say that I haven't done it though. It's okay, everybody does that at one point in time, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just forget to load configs, you know? When you're too focused in what you're going to do in the mid, you know? Okay, for real, we're finally going to start in one second. And two restarts. <laughs> I was hoping you'd forget again, that was funny. Well, if I forgot, then I'd be an actual idiot. Looks like one more restart, please. Okay, finally. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, okay, thank god. So, Snazzy, who are you going to watch in this mid? I'm just going to stay on the Tibet cam. I think we just start again. The, the same legendary map. Tibet cam, yes? Yeah. He's still doing the same rollout. I think this might same be intentional. 96. I guess. It's like super horizontal. It looks, it looks like Itachi's a bit earlier, though. Tibet yeah. already at 61 HP. It looks like the two soldiers of side of Swift really want to make this immediate aggression. Banana already holding this, red, this left side of red team. Looks like a lot of damage has been given out to Swift. Looks like they're all low. Looks like Potato Photo now making this insane amount of aggression. Looks like Shocky <sighs> looks like he's about to bomb. Oh my god, Fush but Fush Fushy gets two. He gets Strelta and Daylight. Looks like Swift now wants to make a push, but then HSR, the medic of Swift, is really low. He's on 52 HP. Do they want to commit this? Banana gets Larky. Like Swift, TJ, still wants to make the fight. He's still pushing out the soldier in crate. Looks like he ends up getting Shocky. And that's the mid-fight win for Swift. Any so, thoughts, Nazi? At first, it was like the same sort of mids that I was seeing the other week, where Swift weren't really taking much ground, and they were just sort of like Agreed. letting themselves be jumped into. But they really managed to turn that around by picking off players. It was like a perfect passive mid. I was honestly really surprised by the how Swift won, because mm. they were all really low. Tibet really gave a lot of... 
Tibet gave massive damage to their scouts. They're all 1 HP, and all of a sudden, Fushi just gets 2. But as I say that, Tibet ends up getting 2. He gets Itachi and the Pocket of Smiley, and Banana goes down somewhere. But they end up trading for Strelka and Daylight. Daylight and Banana spawning at the same time. Both medics used to mm -hmm. Uber at the same time, though. It wasn't very good on the side of uh, Swift. I think they sort of like ended up losing a couple players before they could really do much there. It's not really much they could have done otherwise, but... Agreed. Looks like the Roamer alert. Shocky already making in, but he gets TJ. Well, the while HSR gets Shocky and T Fushi gets Daylight. Oh, it looks like they're still be able to hold this despite TJ dying. Looks like they want to aggress, but do they know? They have a slight uber disad, but it looks like they still want to hold. Oh, but no, Swift are actually slight, are moving in slowly. Larky is really low. If they focus Larky, he could die. But Tibet ends up getting Smiley in the process. But Swift, with the insane amount of aggression, end up forcing Potato Photo up. But it looks like Potato Photo wants to aggress back. Larky and Strelka getting both Banana and Fuichi, TJ getting Strelka. But Daylight and Larky get both the Medic of HSR and TJ. It looks like it's a full wipe, quite full wipe for Swift. Oh, Damn, I lost my words. Tables, dude. <laughs> Turning the tables. I did not expect that to happen. I mean, yeah. This is the one playoffs after all. Anything could happen. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't think Swift overextended themselves for anything. I think it was just really good play on the side of Potato Photo. Agreed. It looks like Smiley already going on the medic. He tries to force the medic. A S doesn't pop. Can he hit the insane near shot? No, he doesn't. Two soldiers down for the side of um, Potato Photo. I keep forgetting this team, man. Swift. Swear. <laughs> so Looks Swift like is down two down. soldiers and they're full over this. They have yes. the level 2 sentry on last, but... And they're heavy as well. But it's not looking very hot for them right now. The second soldier just spawning in three, which looks like he'll be up for the uber, actually. Oh, Tibet making a really flashy bomb. Onto the high ground, Strelka gets the sentry gun of TJ. Daylight playing the high ground looks like he's trying to aggress for the medic of HSR. Does he get it? No! Fushi ends up getting Daylight. Looks like Shocky gets the trade on the Smiley. But on the side of the temple, they're all low. Looks like Sif are able to hold this, but can they hold this? Strelka, Larky, and A all leave. And HSR and both holding. his scouts are getting very aggressive. It looks like they might try Agreed. to use here if they can, but... Strelka's oh, actually on Larky. HSR. What? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. You'd be frothing. Strelka just running in, getting a, the medic of HSR. But oh my god, how does how does Smith even let this happen? I think it was just one of those things where like, you know, you're you're trying to push out, you're trying to check every door has been covered. Sometimes someone will just manage to get through. It's just one of those things, man. Oh my god, it looks like no. With the, with the insane play made by Strelka, looks like Potato Photo want to push this in. Swift are playing really far back. And it looks like Potato Photo are taking in the space slowly. Larkin wanting to take in the Uber in through. Boiler looks like he's going to take it through rollout. Through the enemy rollout. Looks like he really wants to push forward, but they only get smiling in the process. Hmm. That's actually really... It's kind of a bad situation to be in because... Now HSR has like a solid 40-50 ad. It looks like they're pushing any and anyway. Oh, but as we see it, the demo man of I Itachi ends up going down and HSR is low. He's in 33 HP. It looks like Potato Photo yeah. ends up capping. So despite being in like a pretty bad situation there as Potato Photo, just by using their targeted aggression to just sort of like force that medic and really like cut the team into two separate areas. They managed to take the last, but it does look like we've Do we head to a pause. I yes, think? I believe this is a pause indeed. Hmm. Looks like who paused it? I'm not sure. We'll oh, have we to can't tell. see in because we're Probably... 90 seconds on the STV. No, we don't know whether TJ's reaching at his team or not. We don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but we have to find out. Yeah, that was a really good round to watch, though. So, only <laughs> 24 minutes left, at least on my screen. Yes, 20, 24 only, minutes, exactly. Only, I say. That's, uh, <laughs> Anything could happen in those 24 minutes. Anything could happen in 24 minutes, but, man, uh, Potato Photo is looking really good. They're looking really strong, despite knowing that they had Uber this ad and player this and even player amount of players, they still went for the insane aggression and ended up getting 
everybody low, most especially the demo man and the Hitachi who died in the middle of the aggression, causing yeah. them the loss. But like, what I think is worth saying is it's not just like aggression for the sake of aggression. It really seems to be much more targeted, much more like they they play together when they do those pushes and they sort Indeed. of like split the team in half and isolate certain groups of them and delete those gamers first. It's, it's really Indeed. good to watch. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, that's the beauty of the Korean double bomb, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, they're looking really good, but Swift is still, you know, I mean, that's a solid team. If you've got TJ and Flushy on Scout, that's... Oh, like, indeed. If, pardon me, you're looking pretty good, you know? Well, they're supposed to put HSR, who's on medic right now, on pocket, supposedly. And looks like And is not playing on medic for some reason. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened in the side of Swift, but looks mm. like they're sticking up. Sticking it up with Smiley on Pocket and HSR on Medic now. Who used to play Medic, mind you, for the most dominant team in Asia ever, Xiao. Yeah. I was about to say, I thought HSR was a med main in the first place. So. He is a soldier main at heart. But uh, because nobody else in Xiao wanted to play Medic, he decided to play Medic. I see. And so, in, but in Asia Fortress Cup Season 14, due to his flexibility, he decided to play Demo Man. Ever since Cute Man, the demo man for Xiao in Asia Fortress Cup 13, left and quit the game for a while. The boy's pulling through with the knowledge. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I don't even know how I know this, bro. <laughs> 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 That's the biggest question. How do I even know this? <laughs> dude, someone's been reading the write ups and it ain't me. <laughs> Looks like, honestly, the play, based on the playstyles that we've been seeing, the Koreans really want to play aggressive and Swift love to play more of a passive style and only want to aggress when TJ commands them to. Don't you think so? Mm. Oh, I don't like... really want to talk about the comms or anything like that because I had no idea. Oh, okay. But it does look like we are coming back actually. Back to the I'm going to be looking at the Atachi cam. Looks like he's a lot earlier than Tibet in this middle. Tibet missing the sticky in um, Itachi. But looks like Swift and Potato Foot are playing somewhat passive. Not much damage is given out, but Banana ends up dying. Looks yeah. like Potato Photo wants to take this amount of aggression. Looks like they're taking this insane amount of aggression and ch forcing Swift into their choke. She's looking at Smiley to get three. But it looks like my HUD's broken, so I can't really say yeah. anything. But it, it looks, looks like, like everybody's dying from the side of Swift. Everybody's chasing HSR and he dies. The only game is still alive is Fushy, except for a spawn on the side of Banana, who's just coming in now. Oh. He's still trying to get onto the mid. Oh my god, Man. What, a, what a milk from Ayas. Yeah. We're just gonna work on a little bit of a technical problem from what I hear. Uh, and it looks like TJ was actually the cause of that pause just earlier. Yeah. With their demo man dropping off. I think he timed out briefly. So, what are we looking at here? My HUD's all broken, let me fix it. My HUD's all broken too. How do you even fix it? Let me just restart my... I tried, it's not working for me. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just disconnect and reconnect, I think. Yeah, I'm just retrying. <laughs> That'd be right, we'll be it right back. It looks like a little bit of an ad on the side of uh, Potato Photo. They don't quite have yet. And they're just sort of like dueling it out on last year. Potato Photo have a full ad from what I remember. <gasps> oh god, Stronger managed to get HSR again. Oh my, really? Yeah, yeah. So, Swift still has a heavy in... F I think it was Fushy, and that actually managed oh, to Jesus. hold them the last there, despite being on literally full this ad. So because... it looks like this... Yeah. White then... having a wipe. Yeah, Potato it's pretty Potato didn't aggress. Oh! Oh my god, Great DJ Banana, like, putting yeah. a lot of damage onto the med and scout partner of Larky and IS. Looks like with this insane amount of aggression, looks like Swift want to push out. Smiley gets shocky in the back lines, looks like 5 to t five to 3. Um, who's this now? Smiley looking like he wants to bomb in. Looks like Swift are content with holding the middle with a hefty 40% ad. I mean, you would be content with that, like, you know, you're moving further forward, you're getting the forward spawn, 
And you've got a... There's nothing really to be upset about. Nothing really you can do, man. <laughs> Just play your Uber ad, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's looking pretty good for them here, I think. If they can get in very soon after they get, I think they've got a chance, and it looks like they're trying to push through IT. Looks like Banana making the push in. Looks like he's trying to make space for Smiley to go in. Um, Itachi ends up getting the demo man of Tibet. Looks like the Uber is popping the side of Fushi. They end up getting Shocky and Tibet, and the medic of Ayas is really low, but he has full Uber. Larky in the back line somehow gets Itachi, and Fushi's trying to fight the Soldier of Daylight and Red Sewers. Looks like Swift really want to fight this now. But yeah. somehow, Ayas ends up getting forced. So, um, half their gamers were pushing for Ayas, and that's how, uh, that's how Itachi died, because he was extending, like, really hard, trying to, trying to either force him or kill him. Um, at their spawn, he actually died just coming out of the rollout there. But despite that, Potato Ford ended up pushing out. Yeah, I mean, Swift lost a lot of their gamers to, uh, I don't want to say over-aggressive, but... Aggressive attempts to try and get the force out or a kill on the med, and uh, yeah. that meant the Potato could just push back in. But Swift has this huge ad again. It's literally a repeat of what we just saw. Just yes, saw. I was about to get caught out. He's really low. Will we'll, they got him this time? It, they end up getting it. Wow. But Stroker is Itachi. on them again. And again, but he doesn't get the medic this time. Wow. What a good what a good play from Swift. Yeah. Now they're full, now they're full, and Potato Photo is nearly wiped. Looks like Itachi is now playing the point. TJ as well, capping the point. Will both Shocky and Tibet play to be able to defend? Looks like the answer is no. That's it looks like we have the scores one to one. Yeah, 20 minutes left. The, that could still definitely go either way, but I think we're seeing Swift sort of come into their own and like figure out how they want to play this. Because at first they seemed a little bit tentative. They didn't seem to know exactly what they wanted to do. But I'll let you take me through this mid. Indeed, so Daylight looks like he's going for a fast rollout. I'm watching the cam of Wishy as he takes the high ground in the blue crates. Looks like even amount of damage is being traded. Wishy at 100 health being healed by the only HSR. Banana looks, Smiley looks like he wants to take aggression, but he ends up dying to the bet. And looks like Strelka and Larky and all this side of Potato Photo looks like they really want to push and the entire team of Swift is really low. Looks like the soldiers like bombing really aggressively. Shocky ends up getting Wishy. And Daylight still wants to push through. He's really aggressive. The Korean bombs. Oh, oh no. Looks like the aggression wasn't enough. And the medic yeah. of HSR ends up escaping. HSR getting away by the skin of his teeth, man. Indeed. It, like, it was very hit or miss for him for a moment there. Like, whether or not he'd managed to make it to spawn. Indeed, indeed. I mean, he was the medic for Xiao, so of course he should know this. With the insane amount of experience that this man has. He already knows that the Korean bombs would come through. Yeah. And it's really cool to see with um, Potato Photo's aggression there. They managed to push him all the way back into last. Cap 2 without even having to stress. And they've got Swift on the back foot. Well, Daylight ends up training for a banana. The roamer, both roamers on both sides end up going down. In the, in when, both tra when both soldiers ended up trying to go for the Uber Force, but in, unfortunately, both Uber Forces didn't work. Yeah. It's so okay looks to like... see a stalemate though. There's only 20. It's 18 minutes, sorry. 18 minutes remaining. That's... Bananas on spy? Oh, no. oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Is he spy checking? Oh. No, he was checking I wanted classes. to see the spy action. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> the spy action, dude. Oh, I love that oh, class. Oh, daylight dude. making a freaking sack. Will he get them in? No, he doesn't get HSR. Actually, Fushy going down to Shocky. Somehow. Was he the one trying to make a sack? Spam? Yeah, I think so too, or I think- I think, I think he just I got caught see. out. No, I think he tried to make the sack, and I think he'll end up going sniper. Hmm. It it looks like looks... Daylight is on spy. Yeah. Is he spy chicken? Oh no. No, oh, we get our spy play, baby. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, sad dude. <laughs> Why can't we have the spy action, man? I just want the spy play. We just plays, want the spies dude. and the snipers, man. We want to see the drops. <laughs> oh well. Well, um, it, like I said, it is fine to see a stalemate with 17 minutes remaining, one round on each team. I think I they're, they, they're more ex interested in playing like perfectly rather than playing the fun game. 
So maybe we're just getting excited for the things that will never happen. Dude, we're so hyped right now. That, yeah. That un that the stalemates are just boring us, man. <laughs> I don't want it's... these boring stalemates, man. It's good to see good spam though. It's definitely Agreed. good to see. Imagine uh, if a yeah. medic drops the spam in Div 1. <laughs> you know, you just gotta... You gotta appreciate the little things, you know? The best team's the ones that does all the, the little things right, right? Oh, Daylight gets all the way Daylight. through for free oh through 1. Oh my gets god, the force here's a game out. of force on the HSR. 82 health. Looks like they're trying, to gonna make, they're trying to make the force into IS, but he is so far back. Looks like, unfortunately, they can't make the... Make the force back in Ayath, and looks like they have a full ad. Tibet ends up getting Smiley, looks like Larky's playing the point. Tibet ends up getting B Banana as well! Banana oh got off a solid rocket onto Ayas, man. Looks like, oh my like, god, Larky he's playing Jabs, looks steal. like full uber ad. Itachi ends up getting Struggle, but it doesn't really matter because Potato Photo have a full uber ad. Looks like they pop onto the side, onto Tibet, and Shocky. Shocky ends up getting the Medic of HSR. Pushy ends up dying. Looks like, will he get the kill into Smiley? He, I think he will! He does! So Shocky going absolutely insane! Shocky, will he get the fourth? Unfortunately, he doesn't. Banana with the insane clutch, he gets two. Just to save the round. And there I was preparing to say the words, yeah, that's fairly textbook. But no! No, it looks like they beefed the push! <laughs> yeah! I wonder I mean, why. why. I do don't want to say the they beefed. I think that, uh, what's it called? Swift had some really good focus fire there, and they managed to take out who they needed to take out. Despite HSR dying. Yeah. Oh, looks like Daylight making a bomb going behind. Looks like Smiley's getting killed on the Daylight. Looks like the slide of Potato Photo. Looks like all of their health is really low. Looks like they have to really kill or else they'll all die. Shocky and Tibet yeah. surviving by the skin of their teeth with 40 HP. Yeah, it was a really scrappy fight for a second, but uh, I think Swift coming out obviously has a bit of high ground, a bit better positioning just off the bat. And it looks like they've actually managed to get all the way around onto mid here, and they're kind of converting that into energy for that. HSR doesn't have Ubi yet, but it did come out on the side of... Uh... Potato photo. Potato photo, thank <laughs> you. But now HSR does have Uber. Potato photo... Has bad, bad, bad. Has they nothing. They have Uber. But oh my god, the pipes of Itachi just juggle daylight, and daylight couldn't do anything against it. Yeah. Oh my, but it's just, but looks like they have Swift, the side of Swift has a full Uber ad. Looks like, do they, they want to push it, they want to pop on TG, I, you know this, this is the TJ Uber. He's a focusing Larky, but he, does it happen? Does he get anyone? No. They're content with just pushing them out of mid. I don't think you're content with that, I think you're okay with it because that's what you got. Indeed. But looks like yeah. Potato Photo have leapfrogged this Uber. Now they, they're the ones that have the 50% ad. And you can even see Swift knows that they've goofed that one. They're so far back, just waiting to get pushed here. Indeed. <sighs> I don't know Looks how like... you play this. Like, obviously Potato Photo seems to be a fairly aggressive team, so they might just try to push it anyway. But I think if I was them, I'd probably just take the stalemate. Indeed, but looks like... If they push now, then... HSR might end up getting Uber in time, but which is what happens. HSR ends up getting his Uber despite Potato Photo having a 50% ad once they popped Uber. It just, it wasn't a good spot to push. Not into mid, you know? Fair, fair. Like, I, I understand the decision making, but it actually looks like... Swift wants to push through Saw? Uh, Saw? Fuck. Sewer? Oh my so, god, Tibet! Oh my god, what a double air shot from Tibet! That was insane, getting a double air shot of Banana, but as I say that, Itachi ends up getting two. He gets both the scouts of Larky and Strelka. Oh my god, this insane amount of action, that's what I want to see. Absolutely, and we're looking at um, Potato Photo being pushed all the way back here. They've just used their river on the last. The it's trade. looking fairly okay for them. Not good, not bad. Do they not okay. see Smiley behind? Smiley gets Strelka, Banana. Well, looks like Swift want to push in. Banana looks like he wants to make a bomb. Yes, he does make the bomb. Insane amount of damage to the side of Potato Photo. Oh, and he he's got that through. beautiful positioning. Oh, IS. oh my god. This is definitely a win for Swift, unless Strelka can spawn in time, but looks like he doesn't. And looks like Swift win another round. Looks like it's 2 to 1. Dude, MVP of that push, Banana. He just MVP. Like... 
he got right onto that uh, the little ledge above point there. And what just like, having that dominant positioning, he just totally won that for his team because there was nothing anyone could do about she it. She made the Giga Chad play. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm now about to make the air shot, but it looks like, oh no. Daylight <laughs> and, oh my god. Daylight managed Daylight to trade. Daylight and trading. Yeah. Looks like, and the same amount of damage towards the side of Swift, but looks like it's a fairly even, it's fairly even still, both. Smiley's behind, he's smiles. coming in now. Smiley's behind, he's coming in now, he's onto the medic! He gets the medic really low, the medic with a nice surf, but it's not enough! Smiley still gets the medic of Ayas. Looks like he's still into the sewers of red. I mean, IT of red, but he ends up dying. Looks like Sw Swift end up leaving the- end up taking the mid because Potato Photo just leave. Yeah, Potato yeah. Photo couldn't really fight that one anymore unless they were going directly for mid. Um... So, it just sort of had to leave. Uh, it was just, uh, what's his name, Smiley and yes, Smiley. Vanny getting some really banging bombs off, man. Banana making the insane distraction plays to make room for Smiley to just get the medic. Yeah. Looks like they're pushing through sewers, Swift are pushing through sewers. Looks like HSR doesn't want to use his Uber and... Potato Photo already know that they're in an insane this ad. Fushi get trying to get the soldier, but he is up. Oh no! Beast, <laughs> Beef. He's yeah. just supposed to get Shocky. Shocky was on 16 health, but he missed all of his shots. That's very unfortunate. Oh, no. I can't Fushy, say I've never done why? it myself. But look, with this, a fairly solid Uber ad here, they pushed all the way in. They managed to take out the sentry that was waiting for them. And they take out the med and Strelka they and Daylight. Three. God. Very they quick take out four, Lurky gets smiley, but is, is this enough? No, it's not enough. A full wipe coming from Potato Photo. Looks like right, we're up 3-1. Yeah. to one. What a game. But, 10 minutes remaining. Potato Photo only needs 2 rounds. They could easily do that in 10 I minutes. I mean, anything could happen. It's 9 minutes. Yeah. If Potato Photo want to make this a golden cap, then they have to win. 4 minutes and 30 seconds each. I each think round. that's very doable. This is indeed doable. Daylight and Banana making really fast rolls. Banana trying to get to bet, but he ends up dying. The bet is really low, though. Looks like um, Daylight trying to make an insane bomb, trying to find the medic, but he ends up making a distraction play. But he, he ends up getting smiley. Smart. Yeah. Whoa. The amount of space that he just made for his team, the amount of distraction that he just caused, just allowed Potato Photo to just aggress. And See, this like... is what I was kind of thinking about, the fact that there was 10 minutes left. Like... We've seen how aggressive these guys can be and how well that can work out for them. If they keep up that sort of pace that they had on mid there, I think it's definitely doable. Oh my, indeed, I believe so. But looks like we're back to these even uber stalemates. Although, Potato Photo controlling mid right now and Swift holding second. There's it's nothing still Potato much Photo's do. push though. I think they have to break the stalemate one way or another. So... It'd be interesting to see how they do that, whether they want to, like, double-stick their demo through choke, or just, like, send a soldier through. Looks, Looks like that's like what the... you... <laughs> they were trying to send a soldier through, but it didn't go so hard for him. It. And he got predicted. Oh, Dude. no. Itachi <laughs> with the prediction sticky. What a beautiful <laughs> trap. Like... <laughs> Look oh, how no. high up it is, too. It's, like... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Daylight's come up on Spy, and he's actually coming forward. Oh, yes! Is this yes! a Spy play we're talking about? Yes! Yes! Finally, the Spy! <laughs> yes! We want the Spy. The so they're gonna, wanna, they're gonna wanna get a stab, and then push in pretty much instantly. Um, so that they can use that to their advantage. It looks like they're ready to go through sewer. Pardon me. Um, oh my. Daylight. Using the cloak and dagger, just waiting behind, just waiting for the perfect opportunity. Looks like. What did it say? Oh my god, is he gonna make a move on Itachi? He, will he get Itachi? Oh no! He Wait, does! What? No, he no, does. he takes him out! <laughs> what? He what? manages to get him, he, he splashes oh, him no. with his own pipe. Oh no! <laughs> That's brilliant! Alright, brilliant. that is a demo. They, they like... can walk in for free, they just sort of have to take some of this ground, and I think they'd be able to push this. Oh no, AS is a lot now. Of... Oh no, he ends up dropping On both sides. That's okay, because you just got daylight back. Indeed. <laughs> nah, you lost the bet there though, you sort of really okay. need to back out. Yeah, it's not like looking they're... so hot. I just like managing exactly to run. what they're doing, Shuka. 
Taking killing to kill him to Fushy. TJ ended up getting killed to Strelka. Looks like AS is really low. He's on 49 HP. Getting out again with the skin of his teeth. Looks yeah, like yeah. Swift controls middle. It's not so bad. I really don't think it's that bad. You know, 6 minutes 45 left. I think it's doable still. Doable Managed to push. take out Smiley Banana all the Banana way in. going for a big bomb gets Shocky. Yeah. Itachi looks like he really wants to go in. He does an insane amount of damage towards the side of Potato Photo. Itachi looks like he doesn't want to do... He doesn't want to continue this aggression, but Daylight ends up going for the bomb, but he fails, but... Itachi gets two still? He gets Larky and Daylight. Strelka, although getting the pick on the demo, will he get the pick on the med? The answer is no. Yeah, and while that was happening, uh, TJ and Fushi just, like, walked forward and managed to pick up HSR. Or, uh, Aya, sorry. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Looks like HSR wants to take into Uber with Wishy. On to last, Daylight half health on the upper balcony. Looks like Shocky ends up dying though. Smiley gets to kill into Shocky. This is a really good Uber from the side of Swift. I believe that this will be a, a win if Swift play their cards. But looks like Strelka, Tibet, and Daylight end up getting three. They get four. Will they get five? If they can get five, HSR here, is I think... going under. Itachi gets Larky, but then Itachi. Oh my god, HSR just going circles around. The side of potato photo, but they end up getting him anyway. Oh no. Despite the four spawns, I think this is the impetus that um Potato Photo needs. I think that they could probably roll this all the way to last. Indeed. Looks they like have the medic advantage. HSR spawned at the back spawns and he's got no one with him. They can push in here. They do have to be fearful of that sniper and choke. In uh, forward spawn, they actually lost Stroker and Shocky trying to push in through Choke there. Not so hot for them. They're having to back up a little bit. Indeed. Looks like Swift are about to push in. Stroker and Shocky dying in the process. Although HSR is really low, he gets on 74 HP. TJ at 58. Looks like the side of Potato Photo, they just want to play their cards and hold last with, even, with full over. And I don't think this is what they should do. I believe no. that they should be the ones trying to aggress and make the plays. Because I mean, if you don't care about scoreline, this is already uh, semi-finals, no? Like, you don't really care about scoreline, you just want to get in there. And actually, there we go, they've already jumped in. They're jumped going in. fast and hard, super deep. Manages to push out pretty much most of their team. HSR still he's, doesn't Oh have my here. god, he's gonna be in HSR, the medic himself. Oh my god, and the backup's occurring! Oh no! Push oh, into getting yeah. a backup. Oh my god. How could they allow this to happen? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, 4 1 with 3 minutes. 3, three 4 minutes remaining. I don't think that that's even doable. I don't think it is. Too. But, I mean, they can definitely still put on a show in the meantime. Obviously, Indeed. at this point, I think if you're Potato Photo, you're just sort of like. Testing out the waters a bit more, getting ready for the next map mentally. Indeed, Banana looks like he's gonna be jumping in the middle. Looks like he's gonna be bombing, trying to get the kill onto Larky, but looks like he does insane amount of damage. Banana looks like he still want, he's still hungry for more damage. He will he get the medic of Ice? He's onto the medic, onto the top. Oh, but he gets him really low. Banana gets shocky, but then Potato Photo end up playing their cards well and they win mid. Yeah. See, this is this is the thing. I think. Now that they've sort of got the weight off their shoulders, I guess, of this map. Oh, actually, they can still pull around out. They might still be keen. They've just traded Ubers. Yes. Looks like Stroke wants to be get his hungry for frags. Looks like Stroke is trying to take the 1v1 against DJ. Will he win this? He does win against DJ. What a play from Strelka. Stroke on 24 HP. Will he get... Fushi, the answer is no. Fushi ends up out DMing Shoka and looks like it's all it's a full wipe for the side of Potato Photo. Tibet holding just a respawner holding his second. Yeah. What I was gonna say is I think that now that they've sort of got like the mental burden off. They're sort of just testing the waters, just trying to see like, okay, if we try pushing like this, how does that work? If we try pushing like this, how does that work? Because they got the time Indeed. now. It's like it's like a scrim for them, sort of. Yeah. I'm not putting this well, but you know what I mean. I agree. This is trash time deep, and the map ends up going in the favor of, of the side of Swift. Swift ended up winning process, and looks like at this point, both teams want to 
um, try to make decisions for what's going to happen in the second map. Swift already up one map. Looks like they could just play their cards right and just be chill about it. Meanwhile, Potato Folder are one map away from going to lower back to finals. Yeah. I mean, I think it was definitely still a good, uh, a good match to watch. Like, indeed. I, I mean, it's only the first map in the match. I'm, I'm talking garbage. Yeah, there's still record to get to. But uh, I mean, look, you can see Potato Photo is still trying to hit him with that aggression. Shocky getting in very deep. Does end up getting shafted back by the scouts on the side of uh, Swift. I'm gonna <laughs> blank on these teams every time. This is a big team these fight. Teams A is going down super names. low. The bet ends up getting smiley. TJ ends up getting shocky. Looks like Tibet wants to get the frag onto Itachi, but then he you know gets fragged by Itachi shortly. Although getting the frag on the demo and the Itachi, Fushi and Banana end up getting Larkin, the medic of red, and looks like this map is indeed over. Yeah. Forty seconds, forty-seven seconds left. Nothing they could do. Looks like Swift can be able to rejoice after winning one map in the semifinals of the Asia Fortress Cup Div 1. Yeah, it's not exactly what you want to see. You know, uh, it looks like a bit of a shutout on the, the scoreline, 4-1, to one, but it, we Indeed. know that it wasn't. Like, it, it was wasn't definitely either man's game, at least. Either man's map. For at least uh, a very good chunk of that that map, Indeed. so I'm excited to see what happens on uh, Reckoner. Oh, Reckoner is uh, the next map. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, we'll get, let's get these logs out. Let's have a chat about that. Let's have a chat. I don't think we can view logs. There's something wrong with my internet. <laughs> oh really? Oh no! Well, I can talk about it. I'll just find out if we can get them up on the stream. Oh, oh okay. I can actually feel them. Thank God I can view them. Okay. okay, well, so top kills coming through on the side of Banana, actually, with 26. He's gone 26 for 19, followed closely by Itachi on 22, and Stroker also on 22. Looking at damage, you've got Itachi pulling through with 270 DPM, followed by TJ with 260. TJ actually having a pretty good game, 17 and 7 with 260 DPM. That's pretty hot. He's followed after that by Larky with 244. Um, it's nothing especially wacky in the rest of the stat. Damage taken stats are about what you would expect. IS actually taking about a thousand more damage than HSR though. I think that may yes. be a result of all of the aggression on the side of his team. He sort of has to, like, play with them. Indeed. And I didn't see it, I don't think, but HSR dropped once. I didn't see that. She did drop. Stroker, remember when Stroker just oh, ran yeah, in? yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the one, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there. There you go. I mean, the, the heal stats look about right. HSR giving TJ a tad more than one might expect, but I, I've learned that TJ is just the guy that you give heals to on his team. So. That is very true. Honestly, Swift's the kind of team to heal their scouts, just like just like how they do it in Freya Tech. They just tank Banny the same way that Swift tanks TJ. Hmm. I don't think there's much else to talk about there. It's, uh, it's pretty it's standard, standard logs. You know, I don't... If you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, Lucky getting insane 80% accuracy on his scattergun. Wow, really? Oh, what a guy. He cheats. <laughs> he cheats, man. He cheats. You don't even know. Just quietly, I think these DPM values yeah. might be off because the log is showing 32 minutes and 52 played. That so is I'm true. guessing it's counted that uh, it, the pause. first. Yeah, probably I'm thinking the. Uh, when they launched and config was wrong, maybe. I or guess. Maybe the pause. I don't know. One yeah, or the, the pause other. contributes because I remember one game that I played when we paused for five minutes, it counted five minutes in the logs. Yeah, right. Okay. So, like, I guess so that's I reason. think the DPM might actually be a bit higher than what it's showing on those logs, but I, yep. I mean, you get the point from them. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Of course. 
Um, I might just leave you to talk on your own for just about, like, a couple of minutes. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, talk no. about Reckoner, you can regale chat with, uh, your oh, tales of how it's good. awful. I'm sure most of chat agrees with me on how bad this freaking map is. Looks like we're waiting for the map to load. But let me just give you a really simple rant about Reckoner. Let me just tell you how stupid and how retarded this entire map is. Oh my god, I don't know. Like, words cannot be... It, the words that I'm about to say is not enough to describe how bad and how awful Reckoner is. I mean, I can't even describe it, dude. It's like, undescribable. Honestly. Looks like... Did somebody predict the scores? And I, pro I remember promising one person a key if they got the score right for at least one map. If I'm not mistaken, did I? Looks like now we're just waiting for both sides. Both HSR. Wait, what am I saying? Both sides of... Dude, I swear to god, these teams are so forgetful. I mean, I always forget these teams' names, I swear. Yes, thank you. Both, it looks like both Sith and Potato 4 are just DMing while waiting for us. I think before she is again. Looks like right now they're just discussing strats. Oh, I'm breaking up? Oh no, my internet's bad. I'm so sorry. My internet, man. I don't know, man. Philippine internet is just one of the worst internets ever, bro. just waiting for them to just start meanwhile we're just waiting for them to well, well, meanwhile we're just waiting for this insane DM taking the high ground action we'll be in break and we'll be back But going back live, looks like I was, I was about to take a break. <laughs> looks like they started. <laughs> looks like one more restart and finally we have another game in our hands. Go. Snazzy, why didn't you talk about the first mid? Who are you gonna watch? Hello? Oh yeah, he's still AFK. Looks like we're still watching it. Oh, looks like I'll accommodate from this on. It looks like we're watching Itachi do his rollout. Looks like he's a lot early to Tibet. No, they're both they both in mid at the same time. Looks like Swift Asia want to take the side the right side they want to take in the right side of red potato photo. Looks like a lot of damage has been given out. Tibet and AS both low. Daylight making a Korean insane Korean bomb. Will he get, will he get the mech? Looks like the answer is no, but he ends up getting HSR really low. The amount of aggression that Potato Four are giving is just insane, but looks like Swift are playing their cards and they end up getting three in the process. Although they lose Smiling but Banana, but it's fairly fine considering that oh my god the collapse coming from Itachi and Fushi. Looks like this is a full wipe from the side of Swift. So TJ and Fushi, it looks like this TJ and company want to play their cards and just Steamroll it, steamroll to last, just like a textbook push. Although they're still waiting for Banana and Smiley to come back. Looks like we're going to see Larky on Engineer building on the very left side. Shocky playing a really a bit too aggressive. Struka on the sniper. Let's see what he could do. Will he be able to drop the medic? Looks like we'll find out in a few seconds. But the answer is no, I guess. HSR ends up popping really early. Itachi getting the, getting the sentry gun of Larky. He also gets Daylight. Fushi gets Stroka. Looks like, oh my god, the amount of playtime that they got on the point. That was a really solid textbook push from the side of Swift. Looks like if they keep on doing this amount of aggression and playing their cards right, looks like they'll be able to take the map convincingly. So... I'm going to take the POV of Itachi again. Looks like him and Tibet are in the same. Are in mid at the same time. I'm losing my words, man. I swear. 
looks like Itachi doing an insane amount of damage. Ayas and Tibet both going down to Banana and Smiley. Itachi getting an insane point to Larky. Looks like Shocky's really low. Fushy gets a kill. I mean, TJ, sorry. Shulka and Daylight both on 20 and 1 HP, respectively. Looks like Swift end up taking the mid convincingly. Daylight looks like he's going to be in a hiding spot. Or no, he's going for the bomb, but the HSR. Will he get anything? The answer is no. But Shulka going for a second man attempt. Looks like, despite Potato Photo getting having two men to just sacrifice themselves for the medic, looks like they don't get the medic either way. And it's a full wipe. Shulka and Daylight having a five second respawn, looks like. Fushy already trying to get the kill on to Shocky. He does get the kill. 15 second respawn. This is pretty bad for the side of Potato Photo. Looks like Daylight wants to push in. Oh my god, Itachi making a huge bomb onto the side of... Onto, on, onto Potato Photo. Looks like everybody is low. Daylight and 80 HP. He respawns, so... Larky Senshi goes all down only now, but Strelke gets Smiley. The push from Swift Asia doesn't seem to work. Looks like Banana, Banana also dies. TJ gets Strelke, but Slurky gets Fushy. It's almost a full wipe. Daylight bomb making insane amounts of aggression. Looks like TJ and HSR end up getting out safely. Oh gosh, they didn't wait for me now, did they? They didn't wait for you, man. No, they not started at all. when we were about to take a break. <laughs> That's no good to say. Well, I guess looks like we're back. Looks like Potato Photo are now have a full Uber percent advantage, but looks like it HSR looks like he's about to get his Uber only now. But Itachi goes down. Oh no! Potato Photo end up for, uh, trying to force the Uber out of Swift. Swift end up forcing their Uber out, but oh no! This, to bet the demo man of Potato Photo might end up getting caught. He didn't know that there was a wall. He got stuck. <laughs> Looks like, oh no, the side of Potato Photo is all crumbling down. Ayas, Tibet, Shocky, and Daylight all down. Well, only Banana and Smiley down for the side of Swift. I mean, look, yes, they've lost all their players, but they still have both scouts up. And it looks like Stroke has actually managed to get all the way behind? No, he's looping back out. He wants to get out, yeah. Yeah. But will he be able to get out in time so that he won't get caught out? Looks like the answer is yes. Yeah, so they're going to set up for a last hold with a fairly solid uber disad but i think there's a chance i mean i've definitely myself pulled out some really stupid lasts on rock and on um, reckoner <laughs> so everybody has reckon is a bad happen still on about this did you have your rant oh no <laughs> either way i mean they've got the full century up it looks like yeah, Itachi's on that very early. He manages to take out that sentry without much fuss. They're still in it with a chance, though. Although, it just everyone's down except for Tibet, who he's doing his best, but it's just not enough. And there you go, that's 2 0 to Swift. What is happening to Potato Photo? Why are they crumbling this hard? Are you thought to this nasty? Why do uh, Potato I have no thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. I think they obviously excel with aggression. I think maybe holding's potentially a weak point for them. I don't know enough about the teams to say much. But in this mid, you've got a lot of aggression on the side of Swift, actually. They're sort of... They're playing a little bit passive now, but at first they were very aggressive. They've got some good positioning. They do take out Lucky and Shocky and Strelka. Tibet takes out Banana, but Daylight's on the mid hard. Oh my god! Doesn't end up going down. Ayas gets that Uber Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley tried to pickaxe in the fence, but Ayas ends up killing him, but Ayas dies. There's 14 can spawn. I'm lagging super hard, I don't know why. I guess I'll... I guess I'll take over for a minute. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's another last hold, but HSR does have, like, full uber. Which is pretty hot. Also, hello, Quid! What the fuck? Why'd I get dragged in? I don't know. Welcome to the cast, apparently. What cast? Age of Fort. Ah, oh, very unfortunate. Yeah. You learn something new every day. You have got uh, a push out of the side of Swift here. They've managed to take out that sentry nice and early. Taking out the med nice and early as well, but they are sort of losing players here. We'll see if they can get away with just having the health add. A lot of good focus coming out of... Uh, Potato photo, and they're actually, they've killed everyone except for the med, which they're trying to chase now. He's doing his very best to get away, HSR does end up going down. 
and Potato Photo has taken second. Well done to them. Good on them. I think Houdini's totally died in terms of internet, so let's solo cast this for a minute. Guy got oh. taken off the grid. <laughs> he did, dude. Potato Photo pushing into mid. Banana's actually hiding in the bush there though, so it looks like he might try to get the med after they cap here. He's just walked under the point now. Didn't the cap used to be under the point? What happened here? No, they they moved it to the top because... Um, that was like one of the only good things about the map. Yeah, let's just make Badlands again. Badlands is okay, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, look, Potato Photo managed to get away with that one pretty easily. Banana's bomb there just wasn't very hot. But, um, Swift has got more or less parity in terms of Uber. And they've got uh, a level 2 sentry. It's not level 3 yet. It won't take long. Oh. Okay, can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you. You sound alright. Okay, I sound alright. Okay. Yeah. I am back. So Daylight tried to get a bomb in, but uh, he got shafted by that sentry and just sort of suspended him as he tried to come through that main area there. So he actually goes down, which is going to delay the push. Uh, it looks like a bit of a counter sack on terms from TJ. But he does back off in the end. The sentry's been moved forward, like, really far. It's a super aggressive sentry spot. I don't think it's going to live there, man. Yeah. The sentry goes down. Um, Fushy still on NG. Looks like he's trying to get another sentry out. I suppose they can afford to just rest on their laurels for a second here. They are two up. Yeah, it's not their push. Yeah. So, just, just the usual sort of stalemate. Trying to push last. Banana went down. I'm not sure exactly how that happened. I, uh, was not watching. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. That other guy got <laughs> around. I'm trying again. Look, more guns is not a bad thing. You know? They got a spy. You talking garbage. They did. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just watching the stream on <laughs> the TV. I think you're a little bit delayed there, bro. Oh, look. I mean, Swift is well within their rights to sort of like, just sit back, like we were just saying. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's 20 minutes left, though. Looks like a bit of a push out of the side of Potato Photo. They're not really doing a hell of a lot. HSR actually using his Uber a little bit earlier than I think he'd want to. He's keeping it really very solo though, which is pretty good. Oh, but Shocky gets it HSR. Yeah, that I gun's still Uber up though. Hits. And they managed to clean up Smiley, so... Oh no. Off that, they Lurk, It's actually like you cut out. He is so low, he's on 5 HP. Lurky gets to kill him oh, with I was oh, going to say no. build the ad, but I think taking out the demo there as well, I think if you can get that sentry down, this is your last. So as long as they can spam that sentry down until it dies, which is looking pretty good for them. They just got spawns on Swift, and Smiley, Smiley takes out Tibet and Strelka after with one. One clean Chris Brock, he gets two, and two birds with one stone indeed. Yeah. So I guess like... we're just back to back to what we were looking at, really. Mind you, like I was saying, you got a lot of ad on the side of uh, Jetta Photo, but Swift's actually making some maneuvers, trying to push out under two. They do end up backing up. I I think if you're Potato Photo, you want to use this ad and you want to use it fast. Indeed, looks like they have a thirty percent ad. Any longer, they're gonna waste this ad and they're gonna lose. Tibet tried to make the alley jump, but looks like he fails. But they like gets banana on the side somewhere. He gets TJ gets Larky really low. They they like it's this essentially gonna fushy. Tibet gets both fushy and smiley. TJ popping the Uber. 
looks like he's trying to focus, focus fire the devil. It looks like he's trying to protect the point. Stroke trying to make moves. He's just dancing around in circles. He's not getting anything. Spawn. We get Stroke up. Banana oh, comes no, out. He's he standing can... on that point. He's doing really no well. Will he kill? Oh, uh, quite well close. enough. Yeah. Swift almost held it. But it wasn't enough. So that's the first round they away on this map. There's 17 and a half minutes left. I think they've got a solid chance here, man. Potato photo. Indeed. I'll let you take me through this middle. Okay, I'll be watching the daylight cam, the roamer of potato photo. Looks like he's just hiding behind a bush right now. Looks like he's trying to make his jump, but his move, jumping onto the crates, trying to make his way behind to the empty sides of Swift. Looks like he, will he try to go for a bomb. Yes, he sees HSR right now. Apparently. Apparently, apparently so. you're in that's a bit shite again. So, I'll so. take over again. That is a full life uh, on the side of uh, Potato Photo, but um, they did actually manage to take out HSR as well. So, I think it's going to be even overs. Maybe even a bit of an ad for Potato Photo from the looks of things. Like, five ad? Hesitantly call that munch ad. Five But, uh... <laughs> they're gonna Not be able to push in, I think, here. They've taken out Larky with some spam pipes, which was pretty hot. It's pretty hot, man. There's not much else going on. They're sort of just like... Mm, I don't know. Just trying to push in. They have actually managed to take out Tibet and Daylight, though. Just through a bit of aggression there, they do take those two out. And it looks like they're actually going to try to push into last nice and early. Maybe try to get some control of the ground there. They have managed to get themselves in. Smiley goes down during that attempt. Strelka managing to get taken out. And then Tibet takes out Atashi, which should turn that back around, I think into uh into a bit of garbage for them it's it's really not a good push i think it looks like potato photo uh pushing out but um hsr and tj go in with a big solo it doesn't actually go so hot for them because uh potato photos uber is so 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 much better there is a back cap coming through Smiley on the last, I think he's gonna get it. Wow. He manages to cap and he only had like 10 health as well. That's pretty astounding, man. Um, how you doing, Abini? I still have bad connection. Hello? Uh, Quid says the dragon back in, by the way. <laughs> Not much to say about this mid so far, it's just your usual sort of posturing, walking about. Not much happening. Tibet with a huge double midi though, onto Banana. Which was... Mm-mm. Just delicious. Let me tell you. And according to TJ in the chat, Banana is very angry. So that's... It's not what you want to hear, you know? I only want positive gaming when, uh, when I play TF2. I don't like when people say rude words. Exactly. Message it's just not sponsor. The nicest. Daylight goes in for a bomb into a uh, heavy in the sentry. It doesn't go as well as I, I think he hoped it would. <laughs> An attempt was made, and that's what matters. He actually got much closer than I thought he would. Considering it was up against uh, a heavy in the century. We're just sort of looking at uh, a pretty average sort of hangabout push. Looks like Banana's hanging out, uh, trying to check all the off classes. He does end up going back to Soldier. Not really all that much happening. Yeah, just actual nothing going on. Yeah. I eagerly await a demo to air pogo through main. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Daylight got the dispenser pick. That's pretty hot. I think that could trigger the push here. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just... No, we're... Uh, if he takes out a teleporter, I think that could be it. But yeah. I mean... Swift is still two rounds ahead. I think if I was Potato Photo, uh, which is the red team, to be clear, Quid, I think if I was them, you'd probably want to be a bit There's more a spy. aggressive. There's a spy. There's a spy? I think spy. he's just checking off glasses again, man. He keeps, keeps doing it. It's a pretty good choice. Why doesn't he just walk behind the med and kill him? I mean, I'm a big fan of pushing out. A spy if you're holding last because it's usually pretty effective. Ain't hey, nothing like the advantage being equalized. Oh yeah, I love an equalized advantage. But they push, Photo has they actually push, taken they the push, entirety they push. of the right hand side. They're just spamming out that sentry there, they do take it out. Banana taking out daylight and TJ taking out shock to bet manages to catch Smiley unawares. And this actually looks alright. The Ubers have come out on both teams. Tibet manages to take out Atashi, but everything's just sort of falling apart for his team. Shocky and Daylight only just spawning now. So, I mean, Banana looked like he was going to try to get really aggressive there, but he doesn't end up backing off. And Potato Photos had to be relegated back to mid. Are they going to push straight in? It's a big old push on the side of uh, Swift. They're just sort of like looking to come straight through from unders there, actually. And it's working out pretty well for them so far. Daylight managing to get in pretty deep. He's fighting both scouts. They actually managed to get rid of them? They got rid of Fwishy, not, uh, not PJ, sorry. And Tibet managing to pick up Banana during the middle of that, uh, that fight there that I did not see at all. Let's see how they aggress this point this time gosh knows I mean I think if I was them I'd probably want to push in before the sentry's all the way up because they've already seen a couple times that that sentry slows them down enough that it makes it really difficult to push but no but if it's a level 3 then it's too heavy to move and they can't forget where it is. That's a good point. Yeah. Because it gets bigger, so it's like easier to see. Easier to spam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the splash damage hits it easier. Matter of fact, if it was cold there, I think it was totally spammable from main. Fushy actually pushed on that sentry super far forward, a very aggressive spot once again. Does end up going down. Let's see if that might trigger the push. No, they sacked a player just as that happened. Yeah. But it looks like they're just pushing in right and getting a bit owned, so it's probably just going to be a reset again. Yeah. I mean, look, Swift is ready to push. Tibet actually stopping that in its tracks by taking out TJ with a quick two pipes. Uh. But the. Uh... I don't know what to tell you beyond that. <laughs> There's not a hell of a lot going on. Nine minutes remaining. It's starting to get a little bit dangerous for, uh... What are they... F Potato photo. <laughs> um, it's starting to get a bit dangerous for them, I think, with uh, with nine minutes use remaining. the colours, Lachlan. I don't, I don't want to use the colours. I'm trying to be professional, Clint. Swift left the game, according to Mitch. They rage quit. Oh, I've been giving false there. information, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. It'd be pretty bizarre to just leave outright. <laughs> He's put the dispenser in front of the sentry, so the sentry can't... I have so much to say about this man's engineer gameplay. <laughs> the, the dispenser being there, though, the sentry eats the spam that hits the dispenser. <laughs> Do you mean it the other... Man, I don't even... Why is he moving it back up? See, that was the big green flag. 
Daylight doesn't get the same thing. This guy is branding the heck out of us here. <laughs> Fushi oh. might just be the most Chad tier engineer I've ever seen. But we've actually got the push coming through, it looks like, on the side of Potato Photo. They're taking a lot of ground on the right hand side. They're right. Uh, they I guess our left. Something. Soldier for Soldier, I believe. TJ and uh, HSR have used their Uber. TJ's actually gotten a bit disconnected, but uh, it's not looking too bad for him. He might get cleaned up here. Shocky going to try and attempt to clean that up. He actually goes down during the attempt. So it looks like once again, Potato Photo is going to have to be relegated back to mid. And they're just going to have to see if they can find a way to pull a push out of uh, out a hat. Uh, and try to get lost again. But you have actually got Swift trying to push in the middle. They're getting a lot of damage out, taking a lot of position here. Itachi's getting some very good position. But Daylight manages to take out Banana and Smiley, I believe. Or maybe he only took out one and someone else killed the other. Either way, both soldiers down on the side of Swift. And Itachi's having to back all the way out. Potato Photo has managed to recap too. The Uber actually comes out on the side of Swift. They're trying to stop that too there. And it's a big solo. IS actually does end up using there, which isn't so hot for them. They do take out TJ though, which isn't so bad. If they can maybe turn this into a second frag and a third, sure. They take out the demo and a soldier. I think they could push this. There's three up on the side of Swift. Their spawns aren't super good. Larky's standing on that last, and he does actually manage to cap it out. So there you go. Another round. It's 3-2. to two. Currently in favor of Swift. But 5 minutes and 44 left. I think Potato Photo, if they keep up their aggression, could uh, drag this one back. Tibet's actually getting there a little bit earlier, I think. Show your usual sort of posturing, bit of bombing, Larky taking out Smiley. This looks good for the red team. It does. With uh, with Swift sort of like all dropping on the low ground there. They might actually be able to turn this into a round, assuming that they don't wait for the level 3 to get set up. Ooh, Fushy manages to trade for the demo though, which is The soldier's going great. for something behind, but let's yeah. sit up. He's been seen. Larky... We're ready to put on that uh, anti-aircraft fire. Okay, they have full ad. <clears throat> and they don't have two. I think if they can kill some gamers on two, they can turn this into a last push. I think yeah. that's ideal, right? Swift were super, super close for no actual reason just then. And then yeah. nothing happened. They're gonna die to the trap. Yeah, Stroker dies to a trap. Banana actually behind. He takes out Daylight as well. That's their entire flank just cleaned out. And with only it's 20 gonna be ad left. Even yeah, I don't think they much. really want to push it. They do have four minutes to play with if they're willing to go to Golden Cap. And there's a Banana. In and he oh. drops the mid yeah. and. That's alright though, Shocky does manage to get the force out uh, of HSR. But yeah, I, don't, I think because Banana killed the flank and then just stayed behind. I don't think he was cold. I don't know what happened there. Bizarre that he managed to get away with it. I was actually opting for the forward spawns and having a run back. <laughs> If he gets back, he reconnects with his players. It's only like a 25-30 disc. They're grinding pretty hard, just trying to get that up a little bit. They need to do some um, sick plays to actually win this in three minutes, currently, because they're sort yeah. of just building. What's the ideal situation? They they have to like wipe them as they try to push into two here, yeah? They just and need just to like win a fight. That. They need to take a fight and win a fight, and then just push it all the way. Yeah. You actually can't do anything in this much time, otherwise. 
and it looks like they're not really taking the offensive yet. Yeah. Where would you aggress from? Anywhere, as long as you aggress. <laughs> I mean, I agree, but where would you aggress from? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I thought I'd use some of the, the prim mindset, dude. It's Ramadan, so I'd push from grass. <laughs> That's a good point. Is it Ramadan again? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's Ram Dam, mate. Shit. Damn, they just ain't moving. Yeah, I mean, two minutes left, you got to be getting fearful. If you're a potato photo, surely, surely you really want to push. Surely. 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 Looks like they're trying to get forward with Larky. They may actually try to get this push He's out. He's getting owned. I mean, look, I... if they're going to do it, they have to solo him out. There's no way around it. I has taken a pipe. Tibet down very low. He does end uh... up going down. I, I just sort of milling about. I don't think he knows what he wants to do here. And he drops one of his scouts as well. That's yeah. Um, that's the just not hot. And with a backup coming through already, I'm not liking the looks of this for uh, potato photo. Yeah, that's crazy. Obla moved to Asia. I know. <laughs> I haven't seen many of those. In a while. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I, I mean, there's not really much to talk about here. There's only 50 seconds left. I don't think either team's going to end up getting around in this time, so it's fairly safe to call it. That is oh, Reckoneth. now they push it. Yeah. That is Reckoneth 3-2 to uh, Swift. I mean, look, 40 seconds, win. seconds, actually. They 40 could. seconds, this might be too down. They can still make the effort. Narky making the super traps looks like Shocky. They, they need oh, to... It's back! Ah, I, fi yeah. I fixed it, dude! <laughs> I'm glad that the <laughs> 20 seconds left. They're international gonna get in there, like, space station is moved closer. Push in. They have to be in there now if they want to get this. It looks like it's even Uber's doing. It looks like I don't think this is enough. Maybe no, there's no time. Shockey. No, no time. they can't cap in nine they seconds. Cap, I don't think. Until the century, it looks like it's GG. Swift wins three to two. Reckoner. They wait. They take the first map. Process four to one. They take the next map. Reckoner three to two. I think if they'd done that like a minute early, they really could have gotten away with it, but alas. He <laughs> they did that like He just had a brain fart and he didn't do anything for like two seconds. <laughs> Man, I can't tell if Fishy's being nice or rude. He's like trying to be nice but it's rude. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when Good it's luck nice in low bracket. Well Yeah, the enjoy good news for shit them is, player land. Lol. They do get shoved down in the low break. So they're not knocked out entirely. They have got another chance of this. Do they? They do. Yeah. I believe I thought this was it. already the lower bracket. No, this was the upper bracket. Oh yeah, I'm tuned in. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Looks like most likely they'll be facing either Xiao or R percent percent, but according to my predictions, I believe they'll be facing R percent percent. Just that makes sense. Xiao is super dominant. I think the IS is drifting for again, bro. Yeah, I'll have a quick chat about these logs. Looking at kills, you've got TJ on 26, followed closely by Banana and Fushi on 21, both of those guys. The uh, the top four are actually all from Swift, so that might tell you a little bit of something. Looking at the damage, Banana actually pulling through with a solid 332, followed by Smiley with 279, and TJ with 272. It just looks like nobody shot any of the scouts in the server apart from Lucky. Yeah. Because I mean, pretty much the all of the scouts, stats. yeah. All, yeah. All, like, Fushi had almost the same amount of damage taken as his med. Which is pretty... It's a pretty ideal game for you if you go 21-9 and only take 4,200 damage. It's definitely... Um, it's up there. Yeah, it's numbered. 
Looking at the med stats, not much out of the ordinary. TJ taking a bit more hills than you'd expect as per usual, but even then it's actually not that ridiculous. I've definitely seen more on him. Uh, HSR pulling through with 13 Ubercharges, whereas IS only managed to get 9 out. I think that just speaks more to just the sort of losing battle that the Tedo Photo was playing there. And that's about all I've got to talk about. I don't think there's anything else. I don't know if we're doing interviews. I no clue. I'm guessing not. Red uh, team had a 0. 0.2 second longer Uber length average. Well, that's a little bit weird. Normally, because uh, Swift pumps so much the Uber into TJ, those are actually a bit longer. I didn't, I didn't notice that. That's a bit weird. Yeah, I don't know. I've been having seizures from the lane. Standard. Well, in any case, it happens to the nocturnal lovers. I miss Nocturnal, dude. I miss Nocturnal. I do too. <laughs> Alright. I think we'll close it out. I'll ask Houdini. Let's see if the, the space station's any closer. How you doing there, buddy? I don't know, man. Am I okay? It's okay. Have you got Ground any Ground control to Major Tom. He's back. <laughs> Are you still Houdini? <laughs> Have you got any shoutouts before we close the stream on? I guess we can have some shoutouts first. Yeah, I'm asking you, man. <laughs> oh, shoutouts. Okay, I guess shoutouts to my IRL friends that are watching, and shoutouts to Team Arctic Fire and Nicole. Very nice. Mitchell, do you want me to spout anything on your behalf? Uh, yeah, come to land, guys. I've just booked my tickets, so you can meet me at. It's gonna be V good. Thank you for watching the Asia Fortress Cup Caption TV Division 1 Apple Bracket Semi Final coverage. <laughs> I'm having seizure. Uh, he's been muted. I'm gonna assume that he wants to shout out the... Uh, just Kellyville. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna pop a quick shout out to Warnable and Not Warnable and Mitchell and Houdini, my boy. Thanks for casting with me. And quick for popping Thank in you very much. right at the last second. Uh, so shout out to Mitchell for doing the camera and all that. And uh, yeah, have a great evening, everybody. Good evening. Guys. Shit and piss. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.